this case study might change project management globally. So what is going on? Every project organization has one or more improvement strategies or improvement initiatives going on. And it is a huge market. Organizations spend hundreds of thousands, millions to improve project output. Putting a major burden on the shoulders of people who do the work. But how effective is it? This video is about a recent client case, an ordinary project organization struggling with ordinary project management problems. And they approached us because they have tried everything already, but nothing seems to work. We need something better. My name is Jan van Egmond, I'm project management hacker, because there are better ways that are easier to learn and easier to use. Real quick, we typically do projects for big, complex works for which no other approach is available just because it is too complex. But the real challenge is for project organizations that do projects on an ongoing basis, one project after another, for their core business. Because you only need to have a few simple projects to lose overview and to lose control and to slip in chaotic execution, projects running into problems all the time and reducing operational and financial performance. No CEO will probably admit that in public, might not even know it, but it affects basically every project organization in every industry across the world. And it's something that people working in projects know. There are many consultants and contractors offering strategies and solutions, making promises, creating expectations. But where do you find those people and how to get it implemented without people revolting and resisting? Because they have to change their work. And will it be effective? We need something better that is easier to learn and easier to use. Well, this case is about a recent client of ours. It's an ordinary project organization and they develop software for a specific industry. And they approached Empower Your Project because their performance declined. Completing projects slowed down, affecting their revenues and also affecting the turnover to maintenance, affecting the maintenance revenues. Projects got stuck in the organization, becoming an obstruction for other projects and representing a lot of working capital stuck in the organization with a very low turnaround. And the dramatic delivery times, even for small projects, caused that clients lost interest. They had tried everything already, but nothing seems to work. And they approached us because of our straightforward strategy, the simplicity of the solution and the approach, and the speed of implementation. And it is affordable. Our strategy is to create a steady, stable stream of projects through the organization. And we know this is a great strategy because there are many case studies of organization that succeeded and boosted output of their project organization by 20 to 50% with the same team. And that is a lot. So we know that with this strategy, we are on the good track. Our approach consists of four simple steps. The first step is determine the bottleneck. The second step is to collect project data. The third step is to set up the project roadmap and the project dashboard. And the final and last step is to organize and operate the project pipeline. To start with the first step, and that is to determine the bottleneck of the organization. And the insight behind this is that projects line up or pile up in front of the bottleneck. And they become an obstruction, an obstacle for other projects slowing down their performance quite a bit. And we know from the theory of constraints that the performance of the organization depends on the performance of the bottleneck. The bottleneck is related to the people with the highest workload. So we have to do an inventory of the workload in the organization. And for this, I have set up an Excel spreadsheet, which the client returned after two days. The analysis of the bottleneck literally took one or two minutes to reveal what the bottleneck is. And now knowing the bottleneck, we can start collecting the data for the project. We have a couple of project management hacks to make this really simple. The first project management hack is that we just have to focus on the projects piled up in the bottleneck. So making the amount of projects that we have to collect data for quite limited. The second project management hack you probably never heard about, and you might not even believe it works this way. But the way how projects 
move through the organization is independent of the details of the project and also independent of how people do their work. And it sounds a little bit weird, but it means that we just have to collect three parameters per project in order to set up the project roadmap. Also for this we have created a spreadsheet which the client returned after a day. Setting up the project roadmap now, that is the third step, is just copy pasting the collected data in the project pipeline manager and giving the first initial draft of the project roadmap. To set up the dashboard we need to know the progress information of each of the projects. And there is also quite a major project management hack for this. And it is that we shift focus from the progress information on each of the tasks to where the bottleneck project is relative to the bottleneck. It means that we just have to put the projects in the right column on the dashboard. And this took us about an hour in a video conference and also did some sanity checking on the collected data. This all together took about a week to implement the technical solution and to start working on improving performance of the organization. An observation from the dashboard we just created was that the bottleneck has run empty. And this is a critical problem because we know from the theory of constraints that when the bottleneck runs empty, then the capacity of the entire organization is wasted for the same amount of time that the bottleneck is without work. How was this organization in the past supposed to keep the bottleneck running without knowing about the bottleneck, without knowing where the bottleneck is, and without knowing the status of the project relative to the bottleneck? That is impossible. And when they would have succeeded to fill the bottleneck, then how would they have prevented to overwhelm the bottleneck with work, also making the bottleneck really inefficient? When organizations lose control, they tend to swing between those two extremes, running empty on one moment and getting overloaded, overwhelmed by work on the other moment. Now the problem was clearly visible on the table, enabling the client's team to come up with countermeasures. These countermeasures mark the turning point from the past to the future. This all happened about a month ago, and there is important evidence that the stable, steady stream of project has been established. There is a healthy workload in the bottleneck, there is a healthy workload distribution in the project pipeline guaranteeing in-time replenishment of the bottleneck to prevent that the bottleneck will run empty in the future without the risk of overwhelming the bottleneck as well. And there is a healthy level of project completion in the past month. Organizations do a lot of improvement strategies already, but what is so specific and so special about this approach? Why might this change project management? Now, what many of those strategies have in common is that they require a lot of research and preparation upfront to the implementation, and that the implementation is an expensive burden for the people who do the work. Organizations spend years hundreds of thousands on these kinds of strategies. And are they effective? We have done all this research and preparation already. What this case study shows is that Empower Your Project is a ready-to-start strategy and can be implemented in a week, without the research and without all the preparation, delivering the same kind of improvements as the best project management strategies it is based upon. Well, if you want to learn more about this, you might follow me on LinkedIn or subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And if you're ready to take the next step, feel free to contact me. My name is Jan van Egmond. I'm project management hacker. Because there are better ways that are easy to learn and easier to use. Thanks for watching.